come 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 let's get this door installed so right here we have some drywall screw so let's get them into the inches so funny enough when i was recording this video i don't know what happened to the camera it was giving some problems even the audio got cut out completely so right now i gotta do a voiceover for this video a lot of the video has cut out as well so nevertheless guys let's get this door installed so this is the 32 entrance door that i'm going to install on the front of the bedroom all right so what i'm basically doing now is getting the door to the height that i want it to go so i have a piece of one by three underneath it then a piece of chart two by four on top of that so i'm just gonna place a piece of sponge on the two by four just to lift it up to the right height that i want it to go and then i will get this door screwed up Alright, that's one screw in the top inches. I'm gonna place another screw in the bottom inches and get this door lined up. I could balance the front of the door as well by adding some more boards underneath it to get it balanced. But it's alright, I have it at the right place where I want it. So it's all lined up. Just like that, the door is on. So let's get the lock sorted out as i said before the camera was giving some issues so when i was putting in the lock that part of the video got cut out I'm show you guys what is happening now on the door. Yes, as you can see the spacing. Nice. In the creases. On the top or the lintel. Nice. Because it's the thicker inches, that's why you have that space over this side. Yes, so this is the 
thicker inches which is the security inches and that's why you have that space over that side lock nicely installed oh and peeps this door is gonna be removed because the windows not yet installed I'm just making the process a little bit easy for me install the door cut out where the lock is going and then I remove back the door until the window is installed then I put back the door I'm gonna get this piece of metal installed over the hole where the tongue of the lock is gonna go So I'm using a dual impact drill 20 volt and this is one of the best drill on the market right now good tool to have in your tool kit testing the straightness of the door and the jam see if everything corresponds in which it does nice yes so the door is not in and it's not out so it's at the right place making some adjustment to the lock so the middle piece is kinda out a little bit so just gonna get it straightened out and that is a section where the key is supposed to go That is it right there. It's ready to go now. Even the lock feels a little bit freer. So what I'm about to do next is add a piece of trim where the lock is so the door doesn't come out. So it fits correctly where it's supposed to go.
that is it right there so this is the trim nicely put together all these gonna remove later on so we're gonna get the jams sanded down painted up and stuff like that when the place is rendered out yep get the screw holes filled out and all those stuff that is it my people thank you guys for watching ensure to like share and subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed see you in the next one peace